Uh, Shalom, giving all praise to you. How about you, Mel? Shalom to the hope 144,000 rest of the elect out there. Shalom to you all. Anyway, I'm going to title this video Am uh, Amos or Brother Amos of the Wi Fi is not sincere if he's bucking up against the MOTB breakdown of the GMS. So, this is the video. Uh, if you watch the video, the brothers from uh, the Baltimore GMS, they're laughing, you know, when they see Amos, but they salute him. Hey, how you doing? You know, and the reason why they're laughing is because they know that they that the MOTB is is a micro C hip that's about to be introduced to the whole world. So they're laughing and kind of giggling at him. And that they really don't want to laugh. They're not really laughing at his face, laugh, 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 laughing at him, but they again, then again they are. And the reason why they're laughing at you is because you can't see the whole book and you're clearly going off. And that's why you rolled up the way you rolled up. You ain't sincere at all. They were saying, yeah, you sincere. And all. No, if, the, if this man was sincere, he'd be teaching, he'll be teaching what GMS is teaching. He be teaching that the MOTB is the is the is the mark of the beast, or the MOTB is a is a micro sip, a chip, micro sip, the micro chip, okay. And he's kind of kind of, and you know he kind of loses. I don't I can't read his mind, but he's kind of trying to nibble on some good food, you know. But uh, you can watch this video. You're gonna find, like I said, you're gonna find out. A lot of you guys in the back of your head, what if we're wrong? What if the MOTB is the micro C hip? Well, you are wrong. I'm here to tell you, you are wrong. And, um, you know, there's a lack of confidence in you coming here and being cool. And if you really believe that the MOTB was something other than the micro C hip, you would say, look, brothers, y'all don't know it. And you... And and these and these men right here, the GMS Baltimore, they 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 broke it down. They went into the word mark. R remember, Amos, brother Amos, elder Amos, whatever uh, uh, rank you hold. You 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 didn't come through the th the straight gate, okay? Because you started coming around uh, the GMS. You came all the way from Baltimore to take a tri trip. To see us at uh, 34th and 7th, back in 2016, 2015 or so, 2017. But you guys didn't tell us that you were also dealing with uh, 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 Zabak, uh, Priest Zabak. Now, if Priest Zabak was teaching that the MOTB is a micro C hip, ISUPK was teaching that the MOTB is a micro C hip, uh, IUIC was teaching it, Sakari was teaching it, and then guess what? You would teach it too. But you, it seems like you have more camps that teach it incorrectly than correctly. We're teaching it the right way. And anytime that subject comes up, we are 100% confident. We do not lo lose sleep over that. We don't say, well, what if we wrong? Because we ain't wrong. And you're dead wrong. And, and remember what the book says concerning adding to the to the book and taking away from the book. You're going to wind up in the lake of fire. It says in Matthew uh, 5, 17, 18, not one jot nor one titter shall be in no wise be um, taken from the law, merely paraphrasing. And when the Lord said law is talking about the whole Old Testament, which the whole Old Testament is part of the New Testament, so it's talking about taking anything from the book not one jot the jot the jot goes back to the hebrew for the word yah or the or the or the character yah which is the smallest character that's why he said not one jot not one jot meaning not one yah meaning the most minute part of the bible is not going to be done away with so you clearly teaching the you out there going over here and you, you got a group over there and you're trying to build these guys up but the foundation is not there man look if you got a hole in your doctrine 
Ultimately, it's like a car with a hole. If you got a hole in your, a tire of your car, eventually you go, you're going to ride a couple of miles. Eventually, that shit's going to go flat. So you, I'm, I'll tell you in your face, look, you guys are going off. You don't know the scriptures 100%. You got the young buck there, they, you know, and the scriptures tell you about a, a novice. You guys are novice, man. You guys are novice. It said being lifted up with pride. So if you don't if you don't wake the hell up, well, I'll say this. If you're not one of the elect, you're not gonna wake up. You're gonna you're gonna continue to believe and teach that the MOTB is whatever the hell it you say it is. So at so in closing, I'm gonna say uh, Brother Amos is not sincere at all. And that's why he came over here, man. He trying to he trying to nibble on that good food instead of you know you want to come to the to soul food cookout you know with the pa- potato salad with no raisins in it so you eating potato salad with raisins in it man let a nigga come come with some potato salad and raisins raisins on on it in it we gonna kick his ass I'm just bugging but you ain't got it brother. If you're missing one aspect of the truth, you're missing the whole truth. It's like a map with a, a, a you know, them big old maps, some big pay, uh, book maps. If you got a page missing, you are lost. And I had maps where I said, where, where the hell happened to the page? You know? So bottom line is you ain't got it. And see, if you had it, you would have you said, let me, can I be a part of the GMS? You would have went on your own. You wouldn't have listened to uh, Naquan. So let me give you one precept. One quick one. All right, let me see. And I partially quoted it, which is Matthew 10. Matthew 10. I'm going to read in the NLT as well. I'm sorry, it's John 10. I'm sorry, John 10. J O H N 10. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that entereth not by the door into the sheepfold, uh, but so where where the where the uh, the doormen, where the porters at the door, we we let you in the right door. You know, you are going in the wrong. End. Nope, that's the wrong door. You don't go, sir. You don't go in that door. You are coming through this door. But climbeth up some other way. The same is a thief and a robber. It says, and when you can read the, you know, to the two, second verse, third verse, fourth verse, and when he putteth forth his own sheep, he goeth before them, and the sheep follow him, for they know his voice, and a stranger will they not follow, but will flee from him, for they know not the voice of strangers. The most important verse here is the fourth verse, and when he putteth forth his own sheep he goeth before them and the sheep follow him for for they know his voice so when you heard us going to the uh, MOTB and you buck up against it that means you're not one of the elect now maybe you're looking for an opening I don't know if you're one of the elect you'll eventually break off from the Wi-Fi and try to get with us or do do your own thing but get it right so so at the end of the day if you still believing in that mess that y'all teaching that you took five, uh, did a five hour thing on which we had the eagle the, the tilings on you the, the eagle's claw that's why it took you five hours and you didn't really, really even break it down 
You gave us a whole bunch of scriptures. You know? And we were all on your comment board. And you made you guys made the statement, uh, much study much study that made thee mad. And you laughed about it, man. So if you would have came around me, you, you wouldn't get a welcome like you got from these brothers right here. You wouldn't get that welcome. I would have said, yeah, what's up? Can I help you? You know? Anyway, with that, I'm going to say Shalom. Get right, get right, get right with God. It's inside joke. Shalom.